all love to hear stories of people overcoming the odds, going from zero to hero, achieving impossible dreams, going the extra mile when it matters. Yes, it's all about competition. It's what drives us, and in many ways, it is also what binds us. Remember how we all rallied around Dr. Lee Chong Wei at the Olympic finals? Or how we chant and cheer for Harimau Malaya against our foes? We want to see our team succeed. We take pride in it. Competition brings out the best in us. But competing is not just about sports. We also have Team Malaysia competing on the global stage. Every nation wants to be the best in education, economy and talent. And the truth is, the ring is packed with hungry nations all competing for the top prize. In the latest Global Competitiveness Report 2012-2013 to by the World Economic Forum, Malaysia ranked 25 among 144 countries surveyed. Now that placed us in the top 20% of the most competitive countries globally. But let's be honest, in a world where people aspire to go to the best countries with the best opportunities, coming in at number 25 will do little to attract and retain our best talents. In a way, you can imagine Malaysia as a second-tier club that's just been promoted to the Premier League. The truth is, it's time to shift into a higher gear to compete with the bigger teams. After all, Robbie Van Persie wouldn't have left Arsenal for a stint at Queen's Park Rangers no matter what the price tag, right? That's right, even third-place Arsenal was not good enough for him. Van Persie kind of reminds me of that irritating nerd back in school. You know, the young professor who never puts his hand down, always ready to answer every question the teacher asked. Many times, even before Puan Rosita got to complete her question. Well, I showed my admiration for him by giving him a wedgie after class. Heh. Anyway, he is the CEO of a multinational corporation now. I always wondered why there were only a handful of those nerds in school. The rest of us just waited for recess to play bottle caps and makan nasi lemak. Malaysia, interestingly enough, is also a little bit like that. 30 years ago, we were in the same class with Singapore and South Korea. But you know, those kiasu Singaporeans, they kept sitting in class even during recess. They are now ranked number two in the same survey, and the Koreans at 19. When you think of it, we do have a competitive spirit, especially in areas we take pride in, like our kopitiams. About seven years ago, a few enterprising individuals saw an opportunity to rebrand the Kopitiam into a modern F&B outlet with a nostalgic twist. We suddenly had local alternatives to the upmarket coffee joints like Starbucks and Coffee Bean. It was only a matter of time before more people jumped in. Today, you have all sorts of upmarket Kopitiams competing for the leisure lepasters and Wi-Fi hunters. There is Papa Rich, Old Town White Coffee, Kilini Kopitiam, Olden Days, Highland Kopitiam, and the list goes on. Our challenge is to channel that competitive spirit out to the global stage. The fact is, our market of 28 million people is just simply too small to be fought over, not when there is a market of 600 million just in this region alone, ready for us to conquer. When you think of it, everyone drinks coffee and everyone eats toasted bread, not just us Malaysians. Of course, we shouldn't only be thinking about exporting our Kopitiam culture, but we should take pride in our ability to compete and rise to the challenge of now playing in the Premier League. That will certainly be something to toast to.